Can you look control the drainage is a new technique. It's being used to drain subretinal fluid in cases of rheumatogenous retinal detachment, exudative retinal detachment, and to drain choroidal fluid in cases of choroidal detachment. In setting of scleral buckle assisted with chandelier light, subretinal fluid drainage might be needed. The procedure started with 360 conjunctival briotomy followed by muscle isolation, then 25 gauge chandelier light inserted 90 to 180 degree from the original break. This is a case of bullous rheumatogenous retinal detachment with macular involvement, caused by atrophic hole as shown with the help of scleral depression. 26 gauge intravenous cannula consists of two parts, metallic part which is the needle and the cannula. The metallic part is being used to puncture the sclera, then cannula introduced and the needle is drawn out. The passive subretin fluid drainage can be observed through the hub of the cannula. And this is the cannula and the subretinal space. Subretin fluid drainage can be held with the injection of pieces through the micro cannula of the chandelier light. This resulted in complete subretinal fluid drainage, which gives us the chance to place a precise cryotherapy to the causative break. The site of the chandelier light and the site of drainage can be sutured if needed. So clearal buckle procedure then completed as usual resulted in a flat retina and the first day post-operatively. The same technique can be used in choroidal detachment drainage. We choose the site of maximum choroidal elevation. We puncture the sclera at that location with 26 gauge IV cannula. Once the needle is drawn, Choroidal fluid can be seen at the hub of the cannula. This can be assisted by injecting BSS in the vitreous cavity or fixing the anterior chamber maintainer. Cannula control and drainage can be used for exudative retinal detachment. This is a case of exudative detachment secondary to code disease where we can see the retina beyond the lens. After fixing AC maintainer, the 26 gauge cannula is introduced in the subretinal space. Subretinal fluid has been collected in this syringe.